could feel this way And I've got to say that I just don't get it I don't know where we went wrong But the feeling's gone And I just can't get it Whew. Okay, I've only been practicing a few times, so it's a little rough. But I wanted to give you an example of that song. So let's zoom in and I'll show you the chords and we'll kind of go through it. Here we go. At the beginning... I'm doing uh, my own arrangement of this. He does something like... And then there's another guitar that comes in that second time. And so what I've done is I've taken the two guitar parts and I'm doing an arrangement with just one guitar. So this is what I'm doing. I'm doing an A chord and I'm doing an A sus2. I used to call it an A9, right? And back to A. And I'll show you the picking on it. And I will also include the tabs in this video when they're done. And then the next chord is a G, I call it a G13 with an add two. Okay, and uh, that's what it looks like. So what I'm doing is, uh, here's a G chord, right? I'm letting go of that E string right there and I'm playing the open E, that's the 13 of the chord. And we've got an, a G and then we've got a muted A and then an open D, open G, open B, open E, that's a G13. And then the add two is the A note right there on the second fret, third string up on the G, the A note. That's the G13 add two. And then the G13 add 11 is I take this finger and I move it down to the B string second fret. And I play that C sharp right there. And we do that twice, you know, the A, the G13, add two, and the G13, add 11. And then we go A in a castle dark, A7. And then we go to a D chord. And then we have an E chord. and then an F sharp minor. Then we go back to a D and an A and a D, and then we have a new chord, an A with a C sharp bass. And I'm only playing four inside strings. Right, my finger, my ring finger, third finger, is on the fourth fret A string, making that C sharp, and then my finger here is playing the A chord. I'm not playing the E string and I'm not playing the low E string. And then I go to the B minor seven, which is a bar chord. And then an E chord, and we've already talked about that, and an A. Let's see if there's any other chords in this song. Nope, that's it. That's all the chords we have. So now let's go to teaching you the intro. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing, this is a little different than I usually do. I usually play my A chord like this, but now I'm using three fingers because I have to lift this finger to the A sus2. So I do the A. With my right hand, I'm playing. So on the A chord, I'm playing the A string, D string, G string, high E string, back to the G string. And then the D string again. A string, D string, G string, E string, and then back the other way. G string, D string. And that's when I play that second fret and then open.
and then I play the D and the G string. I'm holding on the second fret like that. And then the melody comes back in. Those are eighth notes. There's 16 eighth notes. That means there's two measures. And we do it again. So the melody is, here's the melody. These are filler. Melody. And then we do it again. And then I just do a rolling up and down. With an A chord, I like doing it with this finger like that. You can do it a different way if you want. I like it with one finger. If you could read my So this is the G13 add to, right? So I'm just rolling it up and down. Move that finger over. And then just like an old time movie, how it goes playing from a wishing well. A chord. Seven or a fortress strong. Now on the D chord, there's not enough notes because we're only playing four notes. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I play that B string, G string again like that. And then I play the E chord, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the F sharp minor. To D, one two three four five six seven A A chord, one two three four five six seven. And so in a castle dark, I'll play that for you and sing it. In a castle dark, or a fortress strong, with chains upon my feet, you know that ghost is me. Ooh, I did something different there. Six, seven, eight. I didn't really realize I was doing that, but I like that. So that's another way you can play that D chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then back to A. I will never be set free. I did the same thing there on the D. And then the A with a C sharp bass. Be set free. Right here, there's an intro. Now, on the recording, it only does that once, and then it goes right into verse two. If you could read my mind, you know what I like to do? I like to do it twice, though, because I love that introduction. So. And I do it again. If you could read my mind, love, what a tale your thoughts could tell. Just like a paperback novel, the kind of drugstore sell. Okay, this is verse two. Now, I want to tell you something about these two chords, the G13 add two and the G13 add 11. I think these chords are interchangeable because you could actually just sit on the G13 add two. If you could read my mind, love, what a tale your thoughts could tell. Right? 
or you could do the G13 at 11. What a tale your thoughts could tell. I really like the G13 add 2 with that A note right there on the G string. What a tale your thoughts could tell. Or you could do these backwards. You could do the G13 at 11 and then the G13 add 2. What a tale your thoughts could tell. Just like a paperback novel, the drug kind the drugstore sell. So play around with it, see what you like. I really like this uh, G13 add 2 a lot, and uh, sometimes you might just do it twice. Now, the next part of the verse is just like the first verse. So this is the second verse. When you reach the part, A7, where the heartaches come deep, the hero he would be me. But heroes are fail. Now right there what I did was I let go. Of my chord right there at the end because I needed to be able to get to my A chord, D chord. So I actually played that G note. I think it's okay if you're you're going fast. But heroes often fail. And you won't read that book again because the ending's just too hard to take. We do something different right here at the end of this second verse. We play this. And then I'd walk away. Now this little interlude that I'm playing is like the beginning of a verse. What I'm doing here is I'm holding this G note, playing the G note first, the D, and then I'm playing the E string and the G string. And then I'm playing these two notes, and I'm holding the chord like that. And these two notes that I'm playing are the fourth fret with my pinky on the D string, and the third fret with my ring finger, my third finger, on the B string. So I play the two open strings, the E and the G string, and then I play these two notes four times, and then I bar this. So the second fret on the B string and the D string four times, and then I play the A note, which is, I'm, I'm barring that. And then I go back into the A chord. So it goes like this. And then to the A chord. really tricky. Let's do the right hand on this. Accent, second fret, open B, open G, back to the second fret, A note, and then back to the back this out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. The movie queen to play the scene of bringing all the good things out in me. But for 
Do the intro twice. Last verse. If you could read my mind, love, what a tale my thoughts could tell. Just like an old time movie, how it goes from wishing well in a castle dark. Fortress strong with chains upon my feet, but stories always end. And if you read between the lines, you know that I'm just trying to understand the feelings that you lack. Uh, let's see, what's my next note? I never thought I could feel. harmonic on the what is that 17th fret because I'm holding down the fifth fret here and I'm doing artificial harmonic here that's it that's Gordon Lightfoot's if you could read my mind we have a patreon page we have down in the description a PayPal link that you can donate also you can get in touch with me Gordon Lightfoot I really love this song it's fun to play it's a beautiful song uh, for some reason, I like songs about love gone wrong. Uh, it just kind of hits a chord with me. How about you? Hey, we'll talk to you later. See ya. Mm -hmm.